Hello guys and welcome to episode 11 now of a Nils Fires Game the Tycoon. As mm, uh, the M-Box is released and we just made a good game finally so we actually have money. Uh, ooh. Okay so looking at our past, well welcome, <laughs> let's dive right into it. Looking at our past multi platform games it comes clear that we should be able to drastically reduce the cost of developing a single game for multiple platforms if we could better optimize our game engines for multiple so we can do multi-platform optimized. And that would... How much would that cost? Let's send these guys on vacation as well. Okay, the market has normalized again. That's fine. Advanced body language has been... Uh, that would be 100 research points. Okay, so we need to make one more game. And then we'll create an engine. Uh, what is the game we haven't made in a long time? We made a casual action strategy RPG adventure simulation casual action strategy rpg action simulation a simulation game i guess it's literally a game we haven't done in a while now is there any new topic we can research here that would do good with a simulation game i guess like a, a spy simulation game hunting simulation wouldn't be bad i think a hunting simulation sounds fun while i research that let's do some uh some contract work so we can get some research points. We'll do a large booth. Spend more money because we definitely weren't just about to lose all our money in the last episode. What would a hunting thing simulation game be called? Bam. Develop new game. So we'll make it a hunting simulation. Make it for the Xbox 360, the PC and the PlayStation 2. Make it a large game for everyone it's gonna be called a hunting simulation a deer hunter dude what a classic game on the ipad uh what should we call it a hunting game <laughs> i want to do like artemis something with artemis because she's the goddess of, of hunting right Artemis and then we'll do like that and it's gonna be like Artemis Adventures Artemis What's her? Uh, oh shit, we call it suppress the insulin dude Suppress the insulin because that's like her third ability, right? A Caledonian ball. However, I don't know how to spell that. That's actually a sick name. Let me Ka Artemis uh, Smite and it is spelled Let me see here Caledonian Ball BAM it's Using Forest Root Very fitting That's a sick name right there Don't tell me I'm bad with names Although admittedly I did not come up with that but It's fine, it's fine, no one cares um, also one thing I just realized, sorry about this, if you've been getting OCD about this, I just saw it. There we go. <laughs> now you can see like the one pixel, the one pixel of green. Wait, you still can? Oh my. There we go, now you can't. I don't know why that freaks me out, oh no, maybe I was just being... Whatever doc, let's, let's do this. We'll, we'll use 3D graphics v4, it's gonna be great, the Caledonian ball. We're gonna have research AA games soon as well. It's gonna be a big success. I can feel it. You can feel it. Everyone feels it. Caledonian Ball. Can we hit 1 million at E3? I hope we can. Let's do it. Okay. We're getting there. Only 48,000 more people. And we'll uh, get there. Okay. A lot on the engine. We'll focus a bit more on custom stories, I guess. We need advanced cut. Full motion video would be so sick. Or. Oh, Dude, this is gonna be crazy good. We have full motion video for when they're gonna shoot it. We'll have video playback. We'll have base physics. Uh, I made it a large game, right? Yeah, I did. It's just because there's something like that. Maybe I made it a medium game. and I don't think so, though. Alright, we won't. Have skill trees, we need that. Character progression, I don't think we really need that. Tutorials are definitely a must as well. Hmm. 
achievements. Skill trees, like, I don't think character progression is the best thing ever in, like, a hunting simulation, but you want skill trees, you want achievements, you want tutorials, and you want a better user experience, right? So we'll do that. Working on the Caledonian ball. Ooh! We, we, I'll, you know what? I'll sabotage the opposition. Agent Blowfish, my boy. Lab report. And we can now create triple A games. Requires well turned time with the best of specialists in the different areas to make sure the team does the best work. We can also use the R&D lab to develop a special marketing campaign which greatly enhanced the hype around the game. Oh, that's hype. So let's research hardware. Software doesn't run without hardware. Sure, we'll 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 put some R&D into to hardware. Try and see if we can open a hardware lab. Oh, we're awarded number one three years in a row now. That's hype. Give me double boost so I can double boost. We're focusing a lot of the gameplay, racking up. In a statement, the game development company NG Software said that they've been the victim of industrial sabotage. Unfortunately, development on their current project has been severely affected. Police are investigating. Shh. Don't, don't don't tell them don't don't you guys tell them at all okay it's fine all right level design focus a lot on the ai not so much in the dialogues we'll still have a dialogue tree actually can we do like a voiceover that would be pretty sick yeah i want i want the voiceover in my game so it's like the deer has been shot we don't need a level editor i think easter eggs minigames dynamic environment ai companions you can you can put like your dog out and the dog is like Gonna go on the hunt. That's sick. That's good content right there. Alright, let's boost everyone. Oh, the Xbox is and the game series thing of the market. Nintendo's making the Wii. Instead of trying to compete Mark's death, the build in motion sensor which allows the best in front of the TV and use the controller's counterpart to the virtual object. Oh, it seems to be a lot of fun. Well, the Wii was a lot of fun. It does, didn't the Mbox or the Xbox? Oh, now I'm saying Mbox as well. Didn't the Xbox 360 do the exact same thing though with the camera? You can play like Just Dance on the Xbox as well. I guess they developed that after. I'm not, I'm not sure. Someone here with knowledge has to comment down below if Xbox did the motion tracking before or after Nintendo. All right, let's do a big marketing campaign for this. I think that's reasonable. We're getting a lot of research points. We realistically we want around 280 research, 260 research points, which might be a bit over the top, but then we can at least uh, do something about that. Ooh, Colby slightly over the top here. We can do advanced stereoscopics. We'll do surround sound and the soundtrack. Surround sound super important for your hunting simulations, obviously. Uh, world to sand watch. We'll have a virtual economy and an open world. Yeah, that's fine. I think virtual economy makes sense more than day and night cycle. Um, so I think that's reasonable. Let's get a bunch of points created here in the end, boys. We need to make this a good game. Oh, yeah, sure. Hello, Arnie from Electric Games. What is your expectations? You know what? I think it's going to be a hype game. <laughs> if it's not going to be a hype game and we're going to fail again. And I'm going to be in the exact same situation where I have no money because the settle is going to be a hype game. I'm going to be mad at myself. But we're getting a lot of big points out here, you can see. We got like one last boost here as well. It's going to help us a bit. Bam. Boost. Let's get the last boost in here. Let's break 700 design points. Let's break the barrier. We've never broken it before. Bam. That's perfect. 750? 750? Ooh, we're going to break 750. And also, we're not in as big money problems as last time. Gotta say, that's a pretty big factor as well. Ooh, the Wii has been released. Hell yeah. I just hope the PlayStation 3 is not gonna, like, get announced super nearly. Because then we're kind of screwed. Uh, box. Alright, let's break 750 design points. F fix that box. And then, bam. No box. New records, new topic, good management, world design, AI, sound, everyone's leveling up. That's happy days. Dynamic world, new research. First of all, we got our research multi-platform optimized. And then um, we can research two here. We can research dynamic world. Or we can do moral choice on interactive story. 
I think dynamic world is more important because we already have a lot in the story and quest schemes of things. So we'll do those two and then we'll start with a... Um, and then we'll start making a new engine. Let's do some contract work while everyone's just chilling. Do a horoscope generator. Sounds fun and interactive. Okay, Caledonian ball, please don't. Oh my god. Oh, that is not what you want to see, man. Especially because we're about to make an engine and we actually can't make the engine now, I think. Because it's just going to be a horrible, horrible game. Oof. Okay, how much would the engine cost us to make? So you want 3D graphics v5. Don't think we need 3D graphics v4 or 2D graphics v4. Uh, we'd want online play, cooperative play, bug the language, no loading screens, realistic weather. And can we do... Uh, it would cost us around 3 million. So I think this is reasonable. We just put this down to like 500k. Then we can do it. And we get to release a game for it as well. Which I think is to play. So that is dynamic world is in here as well. Okay, so 3D graphics, we don't need those. <laughs> do we need 2D graphics before? That's more of a, yeah, I think we can do that for strategy games and stuff. Online play, multi-platform optimized, that's 2 million. Dude, that's a lot of money. Cooperative play, advanced body language, no loading screens, realistic weather, dynamic world, stereo sound or surround sound. Yeah, I think this is kind of it. I think we gotta go with it. Just kind of gamble a whole company on this engine. I'm gonna call it Power Bank. Power Bank. Power Block, dude. Power Block. That's a sick name. Power Block. What else do we have flying around? Power Block key. PBK. Short. Power Block key. That's an innovative name right there. Ooh, Caledonian ball, can you please make us enough money so we don't go- Everyone needs to go on vacation again, are you kidding me? Dude, these guys go on vacation like once a year, that's way too much. Alright, we'll do a- uh, we'll do a large booth. Actually, no, we'll do a medium booth, we don't really have anything to do this year to free anyway. Like, nothing to present to the people. I'm gonna go down on my budget on R&D and more, do like 300k. Ooh, that is rough. Gonna send these guys on vacation as soon as these two want to go on vacation. The PlayStation 3 is coming. Blu-ray. Ooh. Okay, now we can send our team on vacation. Kind of rough to do that, but we have to do it. <laughs> Alright, let's see how many visitors we get with the medium booth at E3. I'm actually curious about that. Because we got like 950k. We still get 80... We only get 100k less. That is actually insane. We, but we only made it at place 28, even though we had so many visitors. I guess it's because we weren't like the best booth ever. Makes sense, right? Caledonian boys barely making any money. Come on, Caledonian boy, just stretch it out a bit more. We're gonna make a sequel here. And I think we're gonna make a sequel to um, our RPG game, Mystic Rush. And it's gonna be sick. We're gonna do Mystic Rush 2. Cause that was a good good name for a good game. No, I'm gonna go all in. I'm just gonna before we do that, we'll do a round of training on everyone, just so everyone gets better. So uh train. You obviously need some uh some technology. Wait, yeah, some technology training or some speed training. We can do product management course. Right here, you need the well this is Peter, right? Like, he's an all-around guy and he's horrible technology, so we need better technology from him. Um, K, if he could become a technology specialist, I guess, but then we can't really train anyone else. So I'll just focus on, on, on technology. Maybe speed a bit. Well, we'll do design. Make her a bit better design. Our boy, Jacob Long, he needs better technology because he's a technology expert and he's not even above 500 or 600. Jeffrey, however, He's better, he's like a not technology guy and he has better technology than our technology guy. And then Coley is the beast. Uh, speed, obviously. Coley is super not fast. And I myself, I'll take a, a lesser, a lesser training here and I'll do uh, the cold jam. And then once everyone's finished training, 
uh, we can start uh, creating our new game. Just make sure everyone gets their skills polished a bit here before we're going to make a new game. So I think everyone's finishing training now. There we go. We can develop a sequel to Mystic Rush. Dr. Watch, I don't really want to make a sequel to that. Okay, so Mystic Rush, we're going to use Power Block Key, Mbox, PlayStation, Xbox, obviously. And look, look at the price difference here. It would be 4.1 million with this, and it's A1.8. I won't make it an AAA, because you need specialists for that. And we still need a lot more research points to have specialists. So like people can specialize in one of the nine categories, and you need like at least four specialists, I think. Otherwise, you're getting penalized for doing AAA games. Uh, but basically, when you do AAA games, take longer, obviously, but you also get to put a lot more stuff in it. Mystic Rush 2. I think Mystic Rush is such a good name. We'll just do Mystic Rush Rush 2. Not Mystic Rush, that's just bad. The PlayStation 3 is coming. It's kind of sad that we can't time it around that. But we'll do it on the PlayStation 2. 3D Graphics V5. The newest 3D Graphics, obviously. Oh, they trash talk the PlayStation. Oh, that is not good. Oh, we finished hardware. I didn't realize. Story and quests, not so much in gameplay, slightly less on the engine. Um, okay, so we're going down on the engine. However, I do want to do online play. I want to do save game. Game tutorial wise, we could also just do cooperative play, but I think this is fine. And then story quest wise, we have advanced cutscenes and a branching story. Yes, we have online playing with achievement skill trees, game tutorials, better user experience. Yeah, that seems reasonable. I'm on this, Martin Kelly's on that, Kefi is on the engine. That's fine. Let's uh, start a new project. Let's start the MMO project over here. Ooh, we're gonna be in big money problems and the PlayStation 3 just got announced. We'll do 120k per month. Really gotta cut our losses here. Hopefully Mystic Rush is gonna be a success. Otherwise, uh, I think this company is going down. That's how, why is it that? It yeah, we'll give away Sega, that's fine. Always a good idea to give away your stuff. Cause then they get happy. Dude. We gained 20k fans on that? Hell yeah. AI, not so much, more level level design. Dialogues, we'll have advanced body language. And a dialogue tree. We'll do simple body language, I think. Advanced body language sounds so needy, nudity though. I think this is better. No voice, voiceover, but we have dialogue trees, better dialogues and advanced body language. Dynamic environment, minigames, easter eggs. I don't need minigames, however, I want loading screens. So we'll do, do it like that then. No loading screens is going to be sick for online play. You need that. AI-wise, we won't have... Uh... Actually, we can still have it, I think. That's reasonable. Uh, Colby, Jeffrey, Jack Long, and that. That's fine. Dude, Jack Long got so many points from that. I'm going to throw everything in here and just do marketing for this game because I truly do believe this game is going to be great. So if we fail with this game, it's going to be horrible, but I don't think we will. So I'm going to spend all our last money on marketing and then just pray to the gods because we have so many points already compared to where we're at. If you look back on like other games right now, like this is like we've released games that had this many points, like not long ago. So slightly less on the graphic. Uh, less on sound. We won't do advanced aeroscopics. Uh, sound wise, we'll do a surround sound, but we won't have a soundtrack. I think that's fine. And then world design. We'll have a, a dynamic world. It's going to be an open world with a virtual economy, but we don't need a rich backstory. Day and night circle? No. I think this is fine. Uh, we'll have... Wait, Martin obviously can't do that. We'll have uh, Jeffrey Honda on that. We'll have Kefi on the uh, on that. Okay, so that means Jeffrey Under can do this, and then Jack Long can do the graphics, and that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. So Kefi is like obviously technology, so she fits well there. Jack kind of does everything, and Jeffrey has pretty good design points, so that's fine. Hopefully, we get some boosts here as well. New topics. 
Well, that's just great. The popular new topics, and this is definitely not a new topic. So we don't really hit perfect there. We're gonna use a boost. Boost up here. Bam, got some big numbers. To be fair though, I think the amount of points we created for this game is kinda gonna overdo the amount of like, the new topic or whatever. I think we can go minus two million on the bank account. Oh, the PlayStation 2 is getting taken off the market in two months. Well, people will be able to buy games for it, hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise, we're screwed. That's like a third of our income, realize on that. Jesus, it's literally gonna happen at like month five, I think. Oh no, that's horrible for us. <laughs> the MMO is like... The Grapple, a company well known for their own PC, early PC industry. The Grapple. GR phone. Oh, that sounds good. Alright, I gotta release this a ASAP. We'll do a large booth. We don't have enough money for that. We can't even go to the game convention. That's just sad. Let's release our game. Bang, 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 bang. Nice. And I think we just... Immersive storytelling. I think we just instantly gotta develop a new game. So new topics, you said. Alright. Hunting. Oh, we just did hunting. Gotta do an adventure game. Haven't done an adventure game in forever. But uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Let's uh, quickly get the, the rating of uh, our new game here. Before we end the episode. There we go. Generate game report. Mystic Rush. This has to be a 10. Oh, a 9 is fine as well. Okay, this is reasonable. We can definitely deal with this. A 9. Okay, 8.75. That is perfect. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode in the next one. Maybe we'll do some uh, hardware stuff. We'll see. Uh, make more good games. We definitely need a bigger capital before we can go into a lot of the other things. So we'll see how that works out. I hope you guys did enjoy this game. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, come subscribe, press the bell. And until next time, everyone, peace out. No,